<clears throat> Hi. Um, it's come to my attention that uh, some people have a <coughs> have a bit of a problem controlling the uh, controlling the amount of phenacil that they get <coughs> when they're trying to um, trying to seal the valves in a standard. And so what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to take a Take a small amount of this. If I can do this without getting it all over myself here. Come on. First thing is you only want to put a small amount of the product into the oiler. And <clears throat> what we're going to do here is we're going to be playing with uh, <clears throat> playing with the forces of nature. Okay, yeah. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, let me hang on here. I got to I got to zoom in. I want to zoom in on this. Um, so need to reposition the camera here a little bit. Hopefully, I can. Remember to stay in frame here. If I put, uh, here I'll put something right here so that I, so that I know where I'm at in terms of the frame. Okay, um, I'm going to show you. Uh, take this piece of paper here. Make sure I'm in frame there. Okay, okay now. If you were to just take the oiler and turn it upside down, okay, you can see that it starts dripping out all by itself. Okay, that's because gravity works. Okay, <laughs> that's how. I'll, that's the only way I can state it. Gravity works. Okay, uh, so there's air inside of here, and as a consequence, the pressure, the pressure from the product is heavier than the pressure. Uh, the air pressure inside and it just starts flowing. So in order to prevent that from happening what you need to do is you need to squeeze out some air okay, and then turn it upside down and then suck back. Okay, In other words, see it's not flowing now uh, because I'm sucking back. The, there's negative air pressure inside of the bottle and so it won't come out until I squeeze it just ever so slightly and you can see I can put on a tiny tiny amount exactly where I want it you see that let me see whether that shows up on the yeah you can see the little dots that I'm making okay so you can see if you just let gravity do it this way, you end up with a puddle, okay, and you can't control it. Uh, you can't control where you're putting it. Um, and let's say that I'm putting it on a stem, okay. Uh, in other words, I squeeze out, okay, and then I hold it away from the work area, okay, until I'm ready. That's a bubble. That's a bubble on there that you see there. But see, now that I've got that negative air pressure in here and I'm holding it steady with my fingers, nothing flows out until I'm ready. And then when I want it to squeeze out, I actually have to press it ever so slightly. That's a bubble. Okay, now I got rid of the bubble. And you can see, you might be able to see that tiny amount that I got on there. Um, Let's see if I can show you something. How about if I take something like this? Uh, that's a little bit too big. I take something smaller. Uh, let's see that I wanted to put it right around the ed right around the tip, okay, of, of of that of that screw, which is about the same diameter, okay, as as a uh, um, as a valve stem. I squeeze out the air 
Okay, and do that away from where you're working, and then turn it right side, or turn it upside down, and then go ahead and carefully apply it. right around the tip and you can see I can get a controlled amount right around the tip of that piece without any problem. That's the trick.